They're not even wearing his mask probably. They're asking me to wear a mask constantly. Watch. I'm going to sit here three minutes talking to this guy. Sure. Watch his mask fall. Just watch it fall. This guy's telling me, and you've got to wear a mask. Put on a mask. Sorry? How many times have I asked? No, but then you told me you're going to deny me service. You're not even wearing your mask I properly. You, you told me you were going to deny me service. I you're told not you even wearing a mask service, properly. Yes. I told you my friend shopping here. I'm here for her so that you guys don't harass her because she's constantly harassed. Yeah, no, you're, her, it's, I know, I know, because I'm taking, I'm taking the I attention. Just asked to leave. Yes, Did I understand that. But the hypocrisy, that. look at your mask. Did you realize if I just asked security, they would have escorted you out at that point? No, he would not decided? have. He would not have been able to, okay, because I have a relationship with his boss. Okay. He would not have been able to. He would have had to call Sonia here. Then he would have been re-educated. Okay. That's what would have happened. No joke. Okay. And, and you would watch it happen. So just, so just so you know, know who you're dealing with before you deal with them. Or maybe you should change your approach. But don't come here, tell me to put a mask on when you can't even wear your mask properly. Get a new mask. Get a new mask, buddy. Like, seriously. Then maybe you should get a mask. No, I don't need don't a mask. I'm, I'm, mask. I'm exempt from wearing a mask. I have a note. Okay? okay. I'm exempt. I have a medical okay. condition that precludes. I have three medical conditions that preclude me from wearing a mask. Then what's your issue with me wearing a mask? You're not wearing a mask. You're wearing a mouth cover. You're not wearing a mask that covers your okay. nose, chin, and mouth. Yes. Your mask doesn't even adhere to the bylaw. And you're sitting here trying to enforce a mask bylaw. Okay. Do you know how stupid that looks? Anything else? Sir? No, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Okay. You tell me anything else because, like, I've been minding my own business. You guys came up to me. All right? He was having a conversation. Let's just, let's just stop. Thank you. No, no, no. Why? So she can deal with you guys? Why? 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 So she can deal with this bullshit? Why? So she can deal with this bullshit? It's nothing against you. I would love it to be that. If it were, if it, why would I do that? But why would I do that? I'm going to ask you to stop. Let's end the conversation. Thank you. We've allowed you guys to shop. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's not a matter of allowing. It's a matter of allowing. I'm going to tell you something. Very important. Take this to heart. If you want to not serve people who are not wearing a mask, you need to take that bylaw 541 off your door and you need to put your own store policy that does not have any bylaw number written on it. Okay. Because the moment that you put the bylaw number, you are subject to all aspects of the bylaw. And, and you, could be, you could be sued for not serving somebody who's medically exempt. That's fair. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you.